Welcome brothers and sisters, welcome to a new video of Triple Grease. My name is Michael. I am the founder of Triple Grease and the Righteous Pass Movement Foundation. And I come again before you with the topic of Be the rock in the storm, I am removing the children. Because the Lord is putting it on my heart every day, day and night, that I should tell you that you must be the rock in the coming storm. The world will cry, the world will weep and the world will mourn because the Lord is here to remove the children. The doors of the ark are closed and the symbol of the days of Noah are now for the sealed tribulation and they are fulfilled. People are mocking us, people are scoffing us, people are saying from where are you getting information and this and that, but they will see. The escape of the innocent is here and the children will go under the age of accountability and a few righteous ones will also go with them. Not many people, but they will go and they will be missing and the world, uh, the world will try to explain, the world and the enemy will try to explain what happened. But many families will mourn, not only because of the children, but also because of the missing uh, loved ones. And so the Lord said, now you are called forth as a true Christian, as a true son and daughter of the Most High, as an end time apostle, as a first fruit of the wine, to stand as a rock in the storm and to go to them and to explain them wherever you see people weeping and crying to tell them, this says the Lord, your children or your loved ones were removed from this world to the third heaven because of what is coming onto the earth right now to take them into safety because they were accounted worthy to escape all these things that are coming down onto the earth right now. Thus said the Lord, do not worry about your loved ones and do not worry about your children because they are in my hands. And this, brothers and sisters, what you have to say to the children, uh, sorry, this is what you have to say to the families who are mourn. In, say this, thus said the Lord, in the name of the Lord, proclaim that they were removed and taken to the third heaven, so that you are the rock in the storm on which the Lord can count. This is your work for the next 40 days. The storm is here, the rain is here, Noah's rain is here, and it will come to riots, it will come to destruction, it will come to wars. The time for the seal tribulation has come. And now when the Lord is here with us for 40 days of supernatural training and when he's here for us 40 days to prepare the end time apostles, then this is the white rider and it's not the Antichrist. Also, we know that in the moment we are talking about the duality principle. And the duality principle says that at the same time when there's darkness, there's also light. So we have, a, we have twins, one is dark, one is light. And so we see that the white rider can be a symbol for both sides, for the light side and for the dark side. But this should not be the topic today. Just follow what the Lord is asking you to do right now. Because it could be that even this weekend the escape of the innocent will take place. The children will be removed and then the world will fall into deep mourning. And a lot of problems will start up, but you must be the rock in that storm. You must be the rock in this 40 days of heavy rain. You must declare in the name of the Father, you must declare in the name of the Lord that the children were removed to the third heaven for safety. So go to the people. If you see them suffering, let them not commit suicide, let them not fall down, let them not do what anything bad, but tell them if they want to see their children again, they should come back and return to the kingdom of heaven. Come out of the world, out of Babylon, out of the lukewarm churches and go back to the first love. Come back, turn your hearts back to the Father and then you will see the children again. It's a time of great harvest also not only to declare what happened with the children and be a, a rock in the storm, but you, also a time of harvest where you can win many, many souls. Take them back, bring them back, take the pearls out of the dragon layers and return them to the king, to the king of heaven. Be an ambassador of heaven. 
and establish a holy place in your neighborhood. You are trained for that. You are a royal priesthood. You are a holy nation, the holy nation of Israel, the northern kingdom of the Jews. We all have this blood in our veins, if you believe it or not. We are counted as a holy nation, as a royal priesthood. Now you are called to establish a holy place and to serve the Lord inside there, to train and teach disciples to become also royal priests and then go out into your neighborhood to lift up the needy, the nameless and faces and to wipe away the tears from their eyes in the name of the Father. But before you do that, you are called to be the rock in the storm. You are called to be that one and, and, and proclaim in the name of the Lord, thus say the Lord. I have removed the children and your loved ones into the third heaven for safety. Proclaim this wherever you see people suffering and mourning and invite them to be part of the kingdom of heaven. Invite them to return as a prodigal sons and daughters out of the world and invite them to become true sons and daughters of the Most High. This is your job right now. This is your work for the kingdom of heaven right now before you open and establish the holy places and before you act as a royal priest and walk with God the Father every day. If you fail in this work right now, if you fail in this what action right now that the Lord is calling you, then you will not be able to establish a holy place in your nations. Brothers and sisters, we are the rock in the storm. Listen what the Lord has said. Proclaim that the children were removed to the third heaven. Proclaim that the loved ones were removed to the third heaven and invite the people to the kingdom of heaven. Bring them back to the Father. Bring them back to the first love. Turn their hearts back to the Father. In Jesus' holy name I pray. And in the name of the Father I pray. And in the name of the Holy Spirit I pray. May the Holy Spirit fill you with all the power and the glory of heaven that you can stand as a rock in that storm. Amen and amen. Maranatha.